So two years ago, we did Friendsgiving at one of my friend's house. I must have told the story. I don't know why I wouldn't have told the story. But essentially, we almost burned down his house. What's up everyone, how's it going? It's your everyday foodie here, back with another mukbang. And happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. If you don't celebrate celebrate Thanksgiving, then happy, happy. I'm happy. I'm excited for this video. I hope you are. So, uh, for those of you that don't know what this is, this is just a Thanksgiving meal. Um, you know what, I'm not going to give you the history of it because I don't think I myself really... Well, I do know the history, but there's some controversy about the, the history of Thanksgiving. So we're going to leave that aside and stay positive here. All right. So what we have in front of us is a half chicken. I know I didn't get turkey, but you know, I had tried to do something that I can finish at least. So here's a half chicken. Got some sweet, sweet corn in the back and some cornbread, of course. And uh, we got some stuffing and some um, sweet potato casserole which is with the marshmallows and brown sugar which is oh that's that's amazing and then up front we have so like i said the two soups that i'm obsessed with is broccoli cheddar and tomato basil soup right this is a broccoli cheddar macaroni and cheese so i don't know you can't go wrong with broccoli and cheddar so let's try it out and by the way these two this and this are from a place called boston market which is pretty much thanksgiving year round um but yeah, I am super excited. I'm hitting everything and I'm ready to get into this food. So I hope you are ready to enjoy this feast with me. I hope you're not watching this on Thanksgiving, by the way, because I hope you're doing something with your friends and family. But if you're not watching it, if you're not spending time with your friends or family or you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, you can celebrate with me right here. All right. So let's dig right in. I'm going to go for this mac and cheese first. Look at that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Broccoli cheddar mac and cheese. Keeping it a little healthier side for all the indulging I'm gonna be doing. Mm. Mm-hmm. So when you're watching this video right now, I'm gonna be in California spending it with my friends. And also my friend's family. Mm. Mm hmm. All right. Okay. And then we have some gravy right here, which is going to go on top of the stuffing. Just drizzle a little bit on there. And I'll keep this for like a dipping sauce for the, the chicken. Okay. Let's try out some of the stuffing. I honestly should have gotten more stuffing. Like, I love stuffing. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite side dish is for Thanksgiving. I would have to say I think my favorite sides... Okay. I have multiple favorite. But something that is specific to this time of the year stuffing man all the way and then this sweet potato casserole okay so what i've been waiting for is this chicken right here so let's there's really no clean way of doing this so you just got to dig right in all right i know i'm like a clean eater and i hate using my hands if you know me but sometimes you just things are better enjoyed when you're eating with your hands Mmm. Wow. Okay. That. Get a little thing for the bones. This rotisserie chicken, it's I think it's said on there like garlic herb. Oh, this is delicious.
to take this drumstick out. Destroying this nice little setup I have, but ooh, this is going to be so good, man. I'm, I'm going to dip this in some of that gravy. Oh, look at that. Glistening in that gravy. All right. Mmm. Sorry for all you vegetarians out there watching. Feel free to skip forward on this if you want. Oh, that was, that was so delicious. Okay. So on my last mukbang, I was pretty sad. Um, I know I didn't show it, but I was sad in the sense that we have a tradition as friends, amongst our, my friends, to, you know, do Friendsgiving. You know, a lot of people do that. And I said, this year was going to be the first year in like, maybe like three, four years. That we haven't, maybe longer than that, I don't really know, but that we haven't done Thanksgiving or Friendsgiving together, you know? We get together at one of our houses and just cook the whole day. Um, but, 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 this year, so I'm visiting one of my friends in St. Louis, and he's currently in town right now. Um, because before he leaves for his trip, he's in town right now, and then they're going to leave for their trip. But his mom came up with the idea. So she's making pal bhaji. So any of you that know who that is, I know you love that dish. I love it so much. <clears throat> but she decided like, hey, like, let's make this like a little bit of a Thanksgiving thing um, since we won't be able to do anything during the week since they'll be gone, I'll be gone and everything. So. We're finally getting our friends giving, man. Finally getting our friends giving. And like, I was actually pretty bummed about it. One of my friends is not going to be there for that, which kind of sucks, but two of my friends actually are not going to be there for that. So, I wish they were able to make it, but the tradition still continues. So, I'm pretty, pretty happy about that. And then I'll be in California spending Thanksgiving there as well. So it's awesome. Let me know how your day was. What'd you do for Thanksgiving if you didn't celebrate Thanksgiving? What'd you do today? What'd you eat? Why am I eating this with my hands? I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Let's just dig into this since I'm just getting all up in here. Mm. Alright.
<clears throat> I hope you're having an amazing day so far and a ho- like a great holiday season. You know, like like I said in my previous one, it's just like the time of the year is so like loving and uh, the vibe is great. And I know this is very, um, I don't know, cliche or cheesy or whatever you want to say it, but I just want to ask you, you know, this holiday season, what are you thankful for? For me, I mean, always like, I'll say this every year, but I mean, it holds true. Like I'm thankful for my family and friends and I'll say, like, without them, it would be really tough. Because they've been, they've been like, the biggest support system for me for the longest time. It's hard. Like, I'm trying to talk here and not get choked up about it. I know it's like, seems very, you know, cliche, but, you know. They're all like family to me, man. Um, They've really been there for me, like, through thick and thin, you know? Times in my life, and also in the past, like, three, four years that have been really tough for me, and they've always been my support group and backing me up through those times. So I love them so much for that. And another thing is like, with this whole YouTube thing, you know, I've, I've been doing this <clears throat> just for fun, you know, because I just want to reach out to you, kind of share my experience with the food and kind of engage with all of you, right? So that's part of a reason as to why I wanted to do this. And when people think about it, like when you hear people like, oh, I just record myself and watch and people watch me eat, you know, that kind of thing. It sounds so silly, right? But, like, my friends are low-key, like, big foodie people also. So, they've completely supported me. Like, not only my friends, but some of their families have also, like, really supportive of what I'm doing. You know? So, obviously, I'm not doing this as a job. I'm just doing it for fun. But, regardless, they're still very supportive of everything I'm doing. Which is awesome. And then, obviously, like, I'm thankful for you guys. Because for me, it's, it's, it takes a lot to kind of like throw yourself out there and post yourself for everyone to see, right? You're putting yourself up for judgment, essentially, you know, you're setting yourself up. But all of you, like, seriously, like all of you have been so loving and caring and supportive of everything that I've been doing. Even when my beginning mukbangs were total trash, when I look back, I'm like, oh my god, those need to be privated or something. But I still keep them up because, I don't know, I like to see where I was and where I am now. <clears throat> it's good to see progress in yourself, you know? And it's all thanks to you guys, you know? So I can't thank you enough. And I love just like, enga- I, I, the thing is like, I myself, I'm not a big commenter. I watch a lot of people's videos, but I'm not a big commenter. Um, If I have something to say, I will say it. Otherwise, I'll just kind of keep quiet. But some of you guys, man, commenting every single video, I'm like, wow. Like (laughs) For me, I'm like, damn, don't you get tired of that? I don't know, but I love it. Don't stop. Please, don't stop. I love it personally because it's my way of keeping in contact with you guys and talking with all of you. Because it, otherwise it's just me talking to a camera and then people don't comment and I'm just kind of like, did people like it? What do people feel about it? You know, I, I don't know. I like this whole 
I'm going to post a video. You guys are going to comment and I'll, you know, interact with you. <clears throat> so that's, that's another thing I'm thankful for. I'm not touching this just because it's a little bit of a dessert, but I'll give it a try. I know it's going to be good anyways. Mm. Mm hmm. No more. That's, I'm saying, okay, one more bite, one more bite. Saving the rest of the end. Mmm. So good. All right. So, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> You know what, let's, let's polish this off real quick. And then we'll jump into more of the chicken. I don't know if I told the story before, but last Thanksgiving, was it last Thanksgiving? I think it was, no, no, no. Not last Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving before that. So two years ago, we did Friendsgiving at one of my friend's house. I must have told the story. I don't know why I wouldn't have told the story. But essentially, we almost burned down his house. Literally almost burned down his house. So, you know, as I recall, I think I've, I've told the story, but I'm going to say it again anyways. For, you, for those of you that haven't heard of it. Um, so, like, any... Asian family. I don't know why we do this. But we find it's a good idea to have a pot or pan full of oil in the oven. Not when it's hot, but just in the oven, just storing it there. Why? I don't know. I've asked my mom and she was just like, just because we use it later or like, you know, just to dispose, not to use it later, but to dispose of it in a proper, I, I don't know. You let me know why you do this. I don't know really why. I said I wasn't going to take another bite, but it's too addicting now. So, anywho, that was in the oven. And, you know, we always double check. We take everything out. Any like um, pots, pans, whatever, you take them out. Preheat the oven, right? We preheat the oven after taking everything out, and we started cooking stuff. And then when we started cooking, someone opened up to take out what we had already cooked in there to put something else in, right? And then they noticed, like, wait a second, there's still something back there, right? What is that? So then we realized, oh, shoot, that something actually has something in it. Oh, shoot, that something is oil, and that thing's been baking in there for, like, over 30 minutes. So we were like, how do we get this out without touching it and tipping it over? Because it is stuffed in the very back and very close to falling. So as we're pulling it out, kind of pulling it, because we can't touch it, right? It's, it's hot. And it's tipping. Man, just our luck, that thing tips over and just like goes all over the bottom of the oven and goes whoosh, and smoke, right? Just smoke. Goes up in smoke because if you introduce heat and oil, it smokes, right? And then maybe like a minute later, you see a little a flame just pop up in the back and it goes out, pops back up, goes out again. And then this time, boom, it goes up. And so we're like, oh, God, what are we supposed to do? What are we doing? Just took water and just threw it in there. We're like, I don't care. We're just taking water. We're throwing it in there. We can't let this thing go up. But finally, we get removed the, the flame. But as we were throwing the freaking water in there, it just, right? And all the smoke just started rushing out of the oven. We literally had to open all the doors in the house 
all the windows and just to let out all the smoke because the whole house was just full of smoke now. It was intense, man. So crazy. Craziest thing to me I've ever had. I hope that's as crazy as it gets. I'm gonna dump this in here. Man, I didn't get any honey for my uh, cornbread. Oh well. That is no problem, I guess. Okay, let's see. Let me just take a bite of this real quick. Or another one. I love cornbread, man. I don't know. What do I not love about Thanksgiving? <laughs> Nothing? I don't know. Alright. So excited for this holiday season. I feel like I'm actually doing something this year for that. Also, I just want to rewind real quick and touch base on the whole thankful thing. I just, want, I just realized, like, I didn't realize right now, but <clears throat> after this year, like, all my friends are going to be in a different place. I mean, if they're not already, they will be. As myself, maybe, I don't know. And it's crazy. So, like, I've been really trying to take advantage of um, hanging out with everyone and anyone as much as I can because after this year I don't really know when I'll see them you know so one of my friends after she's done with work she's going to be moving back home and then one of my friends he's already in St. Louis another one out in New York And then my one other friend, once he finishes medical school, he whatever residency takes him, like he'll be there, right? So I'm just crazy. This is literally le the last hurrah. So it's kind of another <clears throat> thing I've been trying to take advantage of. Spending time with all my friends as, as much as I can. Because, you know, like, I just drop whatever I'm doing. If they ask to hang out and I'm doing something, I'll quickly wrap things up and I'll dip. I'll be like, yo, you're in town? Let's go. You're free? Let's go. Because I never know when the next opportunity I'll get. You know, just gotta embrace embrace life as it hits you. It's a little dry. If you can see, it's kind of stringy. I ain't about it. But I will finish this part. Okay. Let's just uh, flip this around. There we go.
Now time for dessert. These two things. Why not, right? See how that is. I can scoop up anything. Okay, that's not working. There we go. Mmm. That's good. Okay. If you haven't had this casserole, you really need to look up the recipe and try it out. It's so good. You have to make it with the brown sugar and marshmallows. Must. It's so good. Let me know in the comments down below if you stuck around this whole video. Now this might be a little bit of a longer video, but it's Thanksgiving. Last bite here. Okay. Done. Thanksgiving is over for now. Alrighty then. Well, if you stuck around this long, thank you so much for watching. I hope you are having a wonderful Thanksgiving or had a wonderful Thanksgiving. And if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving or weren't, with, weren't able to get with friends and family for this, I hope you at least enjoyed your time with me, spending it with me today. So if you did, please go down below and smash that thumbs up button. And if you're new to my channel and have yet to subscribe, also go down below and hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon next to it to be notified when I'm posting my next video. It is a holiday season. I'm going to be traveling around, so I hope you all have a wonderful day and a wonderful holiday season. All right, and a happy Thanksgiving once again, and I'll see all of you in the next video. Peace.